What's up? I'm Anna and today we are going to just declutter everything in our computer, organize everything and to top it off we're going to make our desktop look pretty as well because I don't know about you but personally for me when I have everything decluttered and organized and even just pretty looking it just helps me become so much more productive because Everything has its own place, finding things is easy, the overwhelm I get from having a cluttered space. It doesn't matter if it's a physical space like my desk or my room, it's also my digital space that is very important to keep clean. So let's start with the decluttering and organizing part first. And then we can get to making our desktop aesthetically pleasing. So first of all, go through all of your emails. Unsubscribe from all the email lists that you do not care for anymore because it's just gonna clutter up your inbox for no reason, it's just a hassle. And if there are any emails that you don't really wanna delete but you're pretty much done with them and you don't need them in your inbox because your inbox should be empty, then just archive them. Now when it comes to deleting my emails and sorting everything in my email, I use my phone for this because I have multiple emails and you can just view all of your inboxes at one time and it really makes mass deleting and mass unsubscribing really really easy for me. Would you prefer using your phone or would you use your computer to declutter your inbox? Let me know. Now once that is done we're gonna go through the computer so the downloads folder. Nothing should ever be kept in the downloads folder permanently. The downloads folder is like your email inbox. It is only a space for files to be there temporarily, not permanently. Everything has its own place. So either you delete the things you don't even need anymore, throw them in the recycle bin, or if it's something you wanna keep, like a picture or a PDF or something, move it to its proper folder. If you don't have a folder for it yet, then you can create one. But remember, don't overdo the folders because we want to keep things simple so everything is easy to and quick to access, not going through folder after folder within a folder. So keep things as simple as possible. Next is your desktop. I wouldn't really keep anything in my desktop. It's to me also a just temporary place for files to go on, but eventually they will be moved to their designated folders. I go through any other folders that you have that you've created. Maybe there is a image or a file that maybe you needed six months ago, but now you don't anymore and you've completely forgotten about it, just get rid of it. Next is your Google Drive or your OneDrive or any drive that you use. I only use Google Drive, so that's where I would go through all of my files. And it does get cluttered pretty fast for me, but for some people, it might not get cluttered as fast. For me, I'd probably organize my Google Drive every two weeks, but sometimes you can get away with one month. It really depends how often you use it. Now. Browser bookmarks. I love to bookmark because it's such a great way to easily save websites, but probably within a month, I do not need that website on the bookmark page anymore. Or maybe I'd move it to some sort of spreadsheet and not keep it there forever. But definitely go through it, see if there's anything that is just filling up space that you don't care about anymore. Also, if you're an avid browser extension user like I am, I go through and try and test and use a lot of different browser extensions. Sometimes I fall out of love for some of them, so I just want to quickly go through them and see if there's anything I can delete, remove or unpin. But you don't really have to do this often, but it's another area that you can look where it can get pretty cluttered. Next is going through all the apps and software and programs in your computer that you don't use anymore, that's just taking up space. Go through those, see if there's anything you want to uninstall. Maybe you wanted to try some sort of app or software and you haven't used it for months and you don't plan to use it realistically for a long time, just get rid of it. Some digital areas you have to declutter once a week, but some you could get away with organizing and decluttering a lot less often. Now, once all of the decluttering and organizing is finished, and we can get to the fun part, which is customizing this baby. Also, if you think this video has been helpful so far, definitely give it a like and 
subscribe if you haven't already because I make a lot of videos just like this about using digital tools to keep yourself productive and organized. First of all, let's change the settings in your Windows computer. Go to settings and personalization. Change the background and set it to something that fits the aesthetic that you want to go for. For me, I collected some vintage illustrations from Pinterest and I turned them into a collage in Canva. And if you want this background for yourself, you can definitely have it. I have a link down in the description. Next is colors. I'm going for a light theme. I want my transparency effects on my windows to be on and the accent color will match the color scheme of my background. Now, once that is done, go to your desktop, right click it, and, and disable the option to show your desktop icons. We don't want any icons to show on screen because honestly, you don't need them. And if you want to access something quickly, then you can just pin it to your taskbar. Now, we're going to include some add ons to your desktop to make it more customized. And everything I mention will be linked in the description box. First of all, I like a transparent taskbar or something that just kind of looks like acrylic or glass or see-through. I have this add-on here that you can download and it's very easy to add to your windows. So as you can see, this is how my taskbar looked before and now it looks like this. Next thing is adding a clock. It also has the weekday written on it in a nice font and the date as well. And to actually be able to use this add-on, you need to get something called Rain Meter. So I'm downloading that first. And then I'm getting the clock. and you can move it wherever you want. I want it to be on the center because it just looks cute that way. So I'm just gonna keep it on the center of the screen. Next thing I want to do is actually change my mouse cursor. So right now I just have a plain mouse cursor and I want to make it cute. So what software am I using for that? It's called Custom Cursor and they have so many different custom cursors there. This is the one I found that kind of fits my whole aesthetic that I'm going for, for my desktop. And it's literally just a bow and a little perfume icon. And I thought that was so, so adorable. I was like, okay, I'll pick this one. But there's so many different other cute ones. There's like flowers and characters. You can just go through the whole library and see what you like. And the software is super easy to use. So this was before I customized my desktop and this is after. And I honestly think it looks so much better. Let me know what aesthetic would you go for? Would you have some sort of flowers vibe or maybe like clouds or blue tropical water and palm trees or what, what would you do? How would you customize your desktop? And honestly, just a clean workspace really helps with productivity. I really, think it does for me. I hope you have a productive week and I will see you next time. Ciao!